Hey y'all, how's it going? I am on my way to a Tata Harper event. It's a beauty masterclass lunch. I'm super excited because the actual founder is going to be there today. And (laughs) funny enough already, it's an interesting day. Simone was supposed to be my plus one today. And I texted her just now like, hey, what's your ETA? I'm about to be there at 1101. The event starts at 11. It's about 1055 right now, or maybe 1040 when I texted her and she calls me and she's like, I thought this event was on Saturday. I have it in my calendar for Saturday. I'm in Pennsylvania. (laughs) I'm in Dallas. So clearly she's not going to make it today, which is fine because you know what? Everything happens on purpose. I was supposed to go to this event by myself today. So I'm on my way and it should be so cute. It's going to be a little sit down lunch and I'm excited to bring you all with me. Waiting for the sun. Waiting for the sun. Waiting for the sun. Waiting for the sun. You know, I grew up immersed in a beauty culture, a Latin beauty culture that is like, it's it's all pervasive. You know, like my mom is obsessed with beauty, my grandmother was obsessed with beauty. So I grew up like loving beauty and also there was this thing about like if you invest in your skin when you're young, when you're older, you will look better because you've been been taking care of yourself. So a lot of people here think that it's like crazy standards, high standards. I honestly feel that they were like really good standards because they get you really young in this ritual. Um, Do you mind like lowering the music? And even though, I love beauty. I never thought I would become a beauty entrepreneur. I studied industrial engineering. I was having a totally different life. Uh, But then my stepdad in 2002 got diagnosed with cancer. And I was living in Miami at the time. And my mom was really nervous. She's like, oh my God, I I really want you to accompany him to all the doctors and all detergent like raises the pH of the skin, the skin opens up and you lose all of that hydration that you had before. That's why the skin becomes so tight after after you uh, after you cleanse with detergent. So we're gonna start with a double cleanse, first with an oil cleanser and then we're gonna follow with that exfoliator. Okay. We're gonna rub this all Oh you have it. Okay perfect. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Just on dry skin? Like, yeah. no? Yeah, okay. Rub it in your hand. All right. And, and then all over your face. Yeah, so like, yeah. Let me do my hands on this You feel it working? Yeah, you can bring all your makeup and it's all like this. Yeah. And everybody has a towel. It's like, are you kidding me? Because the first part of the class is a little. Are we dipping the sponge in water to like, okay. So let me know if I need to scoot over some more. Yeah, you can put the sponges in the water yeah. and then clean them. So you can use both, but it's easier to. I've done a hundred beauty awards and I believe in exfoliating every day. Like, I don't care if it's your first time doing it. Like, I exfoliate my skin every single day because every single day you produce that skin cells. Like, at night. And you're going to keep it on. It, this seems generous. But keep it on your face because we're oh. going to mask on top of it. It's like a little. Oh, it's she's like going to tell you that. Thank you. It's, it's like a little tattoo secret. Just a little. Oh, no, girl. Mine is like. Oh, it's like. Oh, it's like. Oh, it's like. I'm shooting against the light. Yeah, girl. Please, here, move it all over. Scoot on 
You're like, should I do it? <laughs> I'm going all in. I have a full day. <laughs> no judgment either way. I'm here on the side and on my hands. <laughs> oh, yes, please. And you're gonna what? you're gonna put that all over your on top of no you can use the you use the brush oh you use the brush okay on top this is uh, okay yeah it goes on top yeah Here, Ooh. I'll let you do this is gonna like the texture right it feels like jelly yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, it smells like the spa. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, that's my kind of right. serum. Nice glow to it. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. So cute. Yeah. Oh my god. How nice was that? Oh my god, it's everything. Like, I might have to order some of these. <laughs> like, in the morning time? Mm. Yeah. Are you guys feeling? Yeah. I say, I know. Man, that was a treat. That was ridiculously like lo minimal effort, but like maximum result. <laughs> like what? Especially because it was so tingly. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, all of this has been like beauty after Wow. Now we're gonna go for the main course, which is your serum and your eye cream. Oh right? my goodness. Those are the most important and serum. Wow. So that's what we're gonna do. It feels like, oh, it's so smooth. Oh my gosh. Which is the like serum. Just this, like this? I could sit here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow.
<laughs> Stress is never a good look. <laughs> On which side? The, oh, this side. With four little kids under the age of five at home, getting out of the house is no small feat. And truth be told, I'm shocked that I even get invited to stuff like this still. Becoming a mom makes you feel like everything you had or were before ceases to exist once you bring babies into the world. But when Tata Harper herself said that she's a mom of three and wanted to raise her kids on a farm so she brought her business to her farm, I felt seen. More women need to understand how many options we truly have in this world. That our lives don't just have to look like everybody else's. We can truly still be everything we're called to be even with everything on our plates there's no reason why the idea of marriage and family and children should feel like you're putting your life on hold or giving it up for me i feel like you just make time for the things that you're called to and don't get in your head about it and in the words of tisha campbell i'm still here I'm